thinking of moving to Oklahoma City, or maybe you already live here, and you're wondering what there is to do in the fall here in OKC. Well, light up those pumpkin spice candles. We're about to get into it. Thank you so much for joining us here today. Look, I don't know about you guys, wherever you are, but the summer here in Oklahoma City this year has been absolutely brutal. And I mean hotter than usual with countless days over 100 degrees. It's been a while since I was this ready for fall here in OKC, and that's saying a lot because fall is my absolute favorite time of year. So as we are steadily approaching the end of August, thank God, and September is right around the corner, it's about that time to discuss all of the great things to do here in Oklahoma City in the fall time. But before we do, if you've been thinking about moving to the Oklahoma City area, whether in the next few weeks or few months from now, I would absolutely love the opportunity to help make a smooth move here to OKC. You're gonna find my contact information in the description below, so please feel free to shoot me a call, a text, or an email, and I will certainly get back to you to help you buy that perfect home here in OKC. Now, with that said, let's Let's talk about fall time here in Oklahoma City. So first things first, go ahead and mark your calendar for September because, well, that's when the Oklahoma State Fair comes to town. This is really a must-do event if you live here in Oklahoma for the entire family. From family entertainment to educational exhibits, and of course those oh-so-tempting fried treats that are just ridiculously delicious. What, you don't like fried pickled Oreo waffles? Un-American. Okay, but seriously, the main attraction is of course the carnival, which has been delighting fairgo for over a century now. The historic carousel and the heart-pounding mega drop are just a couple of many attractions that will create memories that last a lifetime. Plus, you can explore the best of Oklahoma's agriculture and commerce all in one place. Prices start at $15 for ages 12 through adults, $10 for children age 6 to 11, and children age 5 and under get in free. Pro tip, buying tickets in advance or snagging yourself a season pass for just $30 will help save you some cash. Now, here in Oklahoma City, City, as the leaves begin to change, so does the vibe. And Halloween brings that spooky kind of excitement. Cue the spine-chilling Six Flags Frontier City Fright Fest. From September 16th through October 29th, you can experience the normal theme park fun by day and fright by night. During the daytime, it's all about the family-friendly shows, the thrilling rides, and of course those sweet funnel cakes. But when night falls, get ready for haunted houses, spooky shows, and monsters that will give you goosebumps, or at least create you out a little bit. Just a heads up, this part is recommended for ages 13 and up. So get ready to scream with the family, but maybe this one isn't the best for your littlest ones. Looking for Halloween fun that's a little more kid friendly for even the smallest children? Well, the Oklahoma City Zoo has got you covered with their Haunt the Zoo celebration. Throughout October, you and the little ones can explore themed booths, gather candy, and overall just have a blast. Just a heads up, purchasing both zoo admission and the official Haunt the Zoo bags are required to participate. But in my opinion, it's totally worth it as it's the perfect way to enjoy the season with the whole family. Oh yes. The crisp fall air, do you feel that? I don't know about you guys, but something about the crisp fall air comes with the urge to explore. And for me, that's what hiking in Oklahoma is all about. So right here in Oklahoma City, you can take a stroll through Martin Park Nature Center, venture into Stinchcomb Wildlife Refuge, or enjoy the paved trails at Bluff Creek Park or Lake Hefner. Now, if you're up for a little adventure, I highly recommend making the journey to the Wichita Mountain Wildlife Refuge. With a wide range of trails for varying skill levels, it's a nature lover's paradise. And honestly, there's a variety of state parks throughout Oklahoma offering countless hiking opportunities. And for me, fall time is the prime time to hit the trails. Okay, how about some more adult fun here in the fall? Well, get ready to raise a stein to the Midtown Oktoberfest at Fassler Hall. This three-day German-inspired food and beer festival is an absolute blast. With live polka music, contests, games, and even a dachshund racing contest. It's really a celebration here in OKC you won't want to miss. And the best part, it's totally free to attend. Just remember, if you're planning to join the evening festivities, you will need to be 21 with an ID. Okay, so you can see a wide array of things to do in the fall here in OKC at pretty reasonable prices, ranging from free to really quite affordable. And speaking of affordable, if you're curious how the cost of living here in OKC fares compared to the rest of the country, I would recommend watching this video next. And as always, until next time, I certainly hope to okay. See you soon. See ya.